This is High School Basketball on Bear Country 95.3. And good evening, everybody. Welcome to Hadley Hopkins Academy. Tonight, a boys' Hampshire League matchup. It's the Hopkins Academy Golden Hawks hosting the Turner's Falls Indians. Along with Bobby C., I'm Jeff Terrell. Our studio producer tonight is Dave Reno. And great to talk to you tonight on cable as well. Bobby, the first time around between these two teams in Turner's Falls not that long ago, a great effort by the Turner's Falls Indians, a 10-point halftime lead. They could not hold on, though, a great second-half performance by the Golden Hawks, especially Sami Rowe. They end up winning going away. Well, you know, what happened was is Sami Rowe got himself into foul trouble. When you get yourself into foul trouble, it takes that element away, and that's exactly what happened. And the other thing that happened that night, too, is the great shooting that's normally done by John Earl and the good shooting by... Uh, Justin Siaglo was nowhere to be found in that first half where Turner's honestly outplayed Hopkins Academy. Who would have thought, right? And what did it end up turning into? Turned into a very good ball game. But then Semi Rowe comes in in the second half. He takes over the game. He shows why he's the athlete he is. And Hopkins runs away with it in the fourth quarter. Hopkins ends up winning that one 71 to 54. These teams are going in opposite directions right now, Bobby. Hopkins uh, cruising right now 14 and 1 overall. They're a uh, perfect 11 and 0 in league play. Turner's Falls comes in at 10 and 6 overall. They're at 500 now in league play at 6 and 6. They began the year at 7 and 0. They're only 3 and 6 though since that time as the schedule got a lot tougher. Well, not only did the schedule get tougher, but I also think that a lot of the guys that are, have a role on this team they got to start going back to going back and being role players. Go back and do the job that they ask you to do, which means that if you're going to be down low and you're Anthony Peterson or you're Kyle Bergman, you got to make those shots down low. If you're going to be the outside guy and you're going to control the ball like Tion Brown or someone like Tyler Lavin, then that's your job. They're going to have to really start going back to each man taking responsibility for their job. And if they can do that, I think Turner's has good athletes. But right now, they are in a funk. And this right here is going to be a tough environment right here in Hadley tonight. 71-54 Hopkins the first time around. And now Turner's Falls comes to Hadley to take on the Golden Hawks one more time. We're about five minutes away from the start of tonight's game. We'll take a timeout here on our pregame show. We'll come back. Introduction of the starting lineups, the national anthem, and the opening tip-off. Hopkins and Turner's next on Bear Country 95.3. Next, starting lineups. First, the visiting Indians of Turner's Falls. At guard, number 11, Tyron Brown. At guard, number 18, Jimmy Bond. At center, number 18, Jimmy Bond. At guard, number 18, Jimmy Bond. All right, Bob, just about set now for play here. Look, the, look at the scoreboard, though. We have 4.9 seconds left in the quarter, and we're still scoreless. Yeah. <laughs> they have oh. not reset the uh, <laughs> time, obviously. but uh, Should be a lot of fun here tonight, though. This, this uh, is one of those games where Turner's really needs a good outing. No matter, even if they lose here yeah, tonight, I agree. they need to have a good outing, you know. They can't go down by 25 or 30 in this one. They need to be able to stick around and make a game of it and be able to know that they're getting themselves prepped for a tournament. Right now, we know Hopkins is prepped. We got to get Turner's prepped, and then we got two teams in our division that are going to be ready for tournament in a couple of weeks. I cannot believe that we are only a couple of weeks away. Hopkins Academy in the home white with the gold and navy blue trim, and Turner's Falls in their visiting royal blue with 
black and white trim. Our lead official is Dave Whitehead working with Mike Rapita. Anthony Peterson jumping center against John Morrison. 30 second shot clock, eight minute quarters. The chip goes right to O, takes it right to the rack, lays it up and in. Could not have started any better for the Hawks. Oh, perfect play too, and boy, right there. Semi road, doing what he does best, attack the basket. Tion Brown got bottled up in the backcourt, got it away to Bergman. Turner's Falls having trouble getting it across. They finally do to Vaughn. Feeds it in a high post to Peterson, over to Bergman. Foul line left, his jumper a little short. Follows his own shot, soups too short. Giovanni Williams too high off the window. So a couple of good looks by the Indians, but they can't score. Hopkins looking to run. Compass has it on the right side. Irv holds there. Pull up, pop from 14 is a little bit short. Tion Brown at 5-5, five, five, skies for the board. Here comes Tion all the way through. Off balance shot, went for the bank, no good. Peterson the put back, no. Tip follow, yes, by Bergman. Nice uh, by job. Vaughn, rather. Nice job by Jimmy Vaughn. He did a good job. He was able to stay connected to the basket. And we are tied at two, a minute in. Man defense right now for Turner's. Justin Siago on the right wing. Up top they go. Morrison over to row of fakes. Slices into the paint. The little floater is off the back iron. No good. Peterson clears the board. Outlet on the left to Brown. Turner's runs it across. Tion gets the Vaughn left corner. Takes it inside the arc. Back to Brown out deep. Brown gets row jumping right on him. Push pass on the right side. Vaughn top of the key. Peterson gets it over to Tion Brown. Tion. Trying to get past Rowe. Shot clock down to 10, loses handle. Coming all the way through, Samir Rowe will lay it up, count it, and one foul on Williams, who was trailing the play. Boy, and a guy being able to pick the pocket of Tion Brown, that's tough to do. Semi Rowe is just a great all-around player. Yeah, he is really, I mean, he was good when he was an eighth grader, ninth grader, but he's uh, improved at various facets of his game as he's gone through his career. Free throw is on the way, that is good. Three-point play for Rowe, has all five of his team points. 5-2 Hopkins Academy. Brown right in front of us, trying to get past Rowe, in big trouble, gets it away to Bergman, passes, batted down, ends up in the hands of Vaughn. Vaughn comes through, a lot of contact, no foul call, and the shot was no good. Morrison up to Siaglo, has it on the right wing. Gets it to Compass. Throws on the right side to Siaglo between the circles. Kelly, his first touch. Nathan, right of the lane, coming all the way through, puts up the runner, a little bit short, no good. Bergman gets the board. Here comes Tion, all the way back, goes past, and a blocking foul called against John Morrison up top. Good move right there by Tion Brown. Not afraid to attack the basket for the smallest guy on the court. Quick substitution, we got John Euro coming in for a compass. General, just a solid, solid player. Very, very fundamentally sound. Plays great defense, and he has a really great outside shot. Tion looking to throw in. Five second call. Tion thought that may have been a little bit fast. He was very surprised at that, but it will go back to Hopkins Academy. I was surprised too. That seemed a little quick. That yeah. seemed more like 3.5. I agree with you. Not five. Deep on the right is Kelly. Top of the key to Earl. Left side, Morrison beyond the arc. He's going baseline, goes right past Peterson, but he lost it. Peterson was trailing the play, and Morrison lost it. Yeah, ended up bouncing right off his foot. Nice job by Peterson being able to cross him, his body over to knock that lane off for him. That was a good job right there by Anthony Peterson. 5.35 to play in the opening quarter. It's 5-2 in favor of Hopkins. Bergman a little out of control on the other side. He got blocked there by Earl up ahead to Rowe. Rowe. Working on Brown, cuts to a double team, back to Kelly. Kelly through the paint, loses it as he comes through, ends up with the hands of Rowe. Rowe in the paint, right side to Morrison. Morrison gets it, Siaglo right corner. Siaglo to the foul line, down to 10 seconds. Rowe deep on the right. Rowe going baseline, puts up a floater, no, but a foul on Turners. And Gary Mullins is, uh, Oh, is he talking to his kids or he's talking, oh, he's talking no, to the No, he's official. talking to the official and he's saying, listen, same thing just happened down at the other end and you didn't call it, but you guys called this one. Tyler Lavin is going to come into the lineup now for the Indians and Compass getting set to check back in for Hopkins. Rowe at the free throw line for two. First one is good. He will get one more. Compass in, Kelly out for Angelo Thomas's Hopkins Academy Hawks. Tonight's game brought to you by Scotty's on the Hill, Omasta Landscaping, and by Matusko Trailer Repair. Free throw is good, 7-2 Hopkins, five minutes to play here in the first half. Vaughn up ahead, 
Bergman, a clean look, and he does lay that one up and in. Well, that's good ball movement right there by Turner's Falls, that possession, Jeff. That's what you got to do. You got to find that open man. Here comes Rowe, guarded by Lavin. As Brown now will pick up Earl, so they've switched off there. Morrison deep on the right side, goes back to Earl. Plenty of time on the shot clock. They go to Compass from 14. A little bit too strong on that one. Tipped around, comes down to Earl. Pull up, pop from the foul line is good. Yeah, he's a, definitely a great shooter. 9-4 Hopkins, four and a half to play here in the first quarter. Bergman has it on the right side. Skip pass on the left side. Here comes Lavin through the lane. Tried to feed it to Peterson, could not do so. Coming back quickly comes Earl. Earl, no look pass right side and throws it away. Tried to hook up there with Rowe. Yeah, a little bit of sloppy play on both ends right there by Turner's and by Hopkins Academy. Turner's only down by five. This is a big possession right here for them. Mahalik in for the Hawks. And sitting down is Justin Siaglo. Tyler Lavin comes across, gets it up ahead to Bergman. Bergman back to Lavin. Turner Stalls will set up the offense. Lavin's going to run the point right now in this possession. Throws it left side to Tion Brown. Tion to Peterson. Left block, turn, shoots, hits over Morrison. <laughs> that was a good move. Anthony Peterson, good confidence right there. 9-6, Hopkins by three. Rowe gives it up on the right side to Morrison. Spins on the paint. Shot no good, and I got him coming over the top as he went in for the rebound, and Peterson and Morrison get their long arms, get tangled, and Dave Whitehead comes over and gets them separated before anything uh, else happens. And Morrison's going to take a seat on the bench. He has two fouls, and he's been replaced by Caleb Graves. Brown in the backcourt, double team, gets it away to Pearson. Anthony loops a pass up ahead to Lavin, a little touch pass to Bergman, comes through, swoops through, a little scoop shot is good. Ah, oh, nice job, good job Tyler Lavin on making that assist over to Bergman for the easy basket. Turner's two within one, it's 9-8. So we're on a bit of a run here. 4-0 run to be exact, and a timeout is called by Hopkins Academy. We'll take the break, 3-16 to play here in the opening quarter, Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It is Hopkins nine, Turner's Falls eight. All right, play back on now, and John Earl's gonna take a three, Miss Bally, he knew it too, a long rebound, and it comes down, and all the way through is Tion Brown, he had the ball poked away by Kelly, it's going to be Turner's ball, Kelly thought maybe going the other way. Good block right there by Kelly. Matter of fact, I think he was thinking that there was a foul on him, and it wasn't, that was a clean block, good job. Rowe, uh, rather Brown, will inbound down the baseline, Rowe will guard him. And Tion finds, uh, tried to get it down to Bergman. Bergman did get it back to Vaughn for three. That shot is no good. They got Anthony Peterson uh, going over the back on that rebound. He went over the back of Caleb Graves. See, those are the what I like to call as a dumb foul for a guy who they need right now. They need Anthony Peterson. And when you give up a foul like that, that hurts. Mahalik in the left corner. Top of the key, it's Earl, gets a screen. Brown fights through it. Mahalik back top of the key. Caleb Graves gives it up to Kelly. Left side to Rowe. Finally a touch for Rowe, and he knocks down the three. There you go. And that's exactly what Angelo Thomas said in that last timeout was, listen, we got to give our guy a chance to touch the ball. And losing it out of bounds is Jimmy Vaughn as he was guarded closely by Caleb Graves. Nice job by Caleb. A couple of subs now for Hopkins as Morrison will come in and Siaglo comes in. They've got about seven guys on the court right now. Yeah, Graves and Mahalik will check out. Good to see that Angelo's uh, subbing in eight guys here tonight. He's already got eight guys in. Bro, beautiful crossover dribble. Earl, top of key. Kelly fakes the three. They got him with steps. And we're going the other way. Yep, the old magic move the feet. <laughs> <laughs> Just about every kid does it. I know it. We, we say it a lot. We say it a lot, too, don't yeah. we? <laughs> All righty. Coming through on the right side is Bergman. Back to Tyler Lavin. 2.15 to play in the quarter. Hopkins leading by four. On the right, Jimmy Vaughn. Gives it away to Tion Brown. Tricky dribbling with Earl Wright in his jersey. Right side, little jump pass. They swing it left side, Lavin. Shot clock down to six. Lavin. Back to Tion Brown, and NBA three is an air ball and a foul on the floor on the rebound. It's going to go against Hopkins Academy. Yep, they're going to call Kelly. Yep, they got Nathan Kelly. 
Graves back in for Morrison. Compass comes in for Kelly. Tiam will inbound. New shot clock after that foul call. Only three team fouls on each side. They get it in in the paint. A shoving foul on Irv Compass. Yeah. And it's starting to rack him up here a little bit. Yeah. Tiam Brown will inbound on the baseline. Turner's runs out of stack. Right to Peterson. Wide open. Puts it up and in from the right side. Great job. Good execution right there by Turner's. Hopkins by two. 12-10. Earl down low. Compass the leaner is short. No good. And the rebound pulled down by Peterson. Look at that look on his face. Brown to Vaughn on the left side. Gets it down low to Bergman with the underside of the hoop. He had a good look. Oh, he did. Coming all the way through now. Coast to coast. Wave off the bucket, foul on the floor. Roll will go. Now he won't go to the line. It was not in the act of shooting. But how did he call the foul on the foul line when there was no one even there? I mean, that, that more was a foul at the end. Yeah, it's on Lavin. Yeah. Well, Lavin got lucky on that one because that should have been uh, two points and going for a three point play. Mahalik in, Graves out. For Hopkins Academy, pass goes right behind Compass into the backcourt. Turner's falls basketball. So even a great team. Has their missteps, Bobby, and Hopkins yeah. is a great team, but they are. They've had a couple of uh, times where they pass the ball behind a guy. Well, Turner's Falls doing a good job so far here in the first quarter. They just got to keep executing those offensive plays. Lavin between the circles, guarded by Earl. Brown on the right side, got it into Bergman. They reach and foul call on Siaglo, and finally Siaglo was going to argue, and then he shook his head, said, "Yeah, okay, uh, I, that was that was me." Yeah, well, you know, they've already got five fouls already here in not even a minute left here in the first quarter, so there could be an awful lot of free throws going on in the second period if they continue to play like they are now. We get the ball into Lavin. Peterson sets a screen for him. Mahalik, though, is able to pick him up on the switch. Now we'll settle back and pick up his man down low. Brown has it on the right side, gives it up to Vaughn. Vaughn curling into the paint, comes all the way through. Peterson from the foul line, right side. Tion squares up for three. Back rim no good, battle for the board, it's on the floor, and we have a hell ball, and the arrow will favor Turner's on possession. Great job right there. Hey, Jimmy Vaughn working hard on defense. You know, he doesn't usually put a lot of points on for offense, but they got him playing some good D right now. And Turner's Falls going uh, with the same main guys. We have not seen, not seen Nick Croto yet. You haven't seen a lot of guys for Turner's yet. Yeah, I haven't seen no Ricky Craver. You haven't seen Wolfram yet? Nope, no Jeremy Wolfram yet. No Ian Moriarty yet? Yeah, well, here comes, here comes, uh, believe it or not, here comes Chase Novak, who uh, has been one of their dominant players on JV who's seeing some time here tonight. Yep, he came up uh, about two weeks ago. Tian inbounding and a second five second call as Hopkins is doing a great job guarding on the inbound. Well, you know, listen, if you got an opportunity, you got to try to set a pick and be able to work Anthony Peterson or someone down low and get the easy, you know, just take the ball and shoot it up. Now you should be able to gotta get to move. Peterson, yeah. Yeah, you got to move. Well, they got a bucket on that play earlier. They did. Kelly gives it away to Earl up top. 45 seconds left here in the quarter. Shot clock's at 20. Here comes Rowe. Foul line jumper is good. He buried it. Yeah, nothing but nylon. How sweet. And Bergman beats everyone down court. Ooh, hard foul down low on Earl, and Bergman will be shooting two on the other end. I get worried on those, you know? Yeah, well, I, I worry especially about the guy that's going up because no, sometimes he, exactly, get, he can he lose his footing. He's falling his back. Fall on his oh, neck. sure. Face. Not, yeah, exactly. And it is Kyle Bergman shooting two on the other end. First one is up. It is good. That's nothing but nylon, too. I want to thank more of the sponsors here tonight. Kira Soil, Travel Cuz, Helena Chemicals with us tonight, Riverside Radiator, Eaton & Associates, and the Gil Montague Regional Schools. Ian Moriarty in for Turner. Second free throw is Rattles Home. Turner sticking around, it's Hopkins 14, Turner's Falls 12, 30 seconds now left here in the quarter. Shot clock and game clock just about in sync. Rowe has it right in front of us, directing traffic. It's a screen from Graves, crossover dribble, pull up pot from 18, that is no good. In fact, he missed it badly. Chase Novak, double team to the backcourt, got it away. They finally get it down low. Ricky Craver 
Gets it away, four seconds left. Craver for three, rims out no good. Turner's was that close to getting the lead at the end of one, but still we got a good ball game here. End of one here in Hadley, and on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's Hopkins 14, Turner's falls 12, second quarter action coming up next. All right, we're all set for the second quarter here in Hadley. Jeff Terrell, Bobby C, studio producer Dave Reno. Hopkins with a two point lead with the ball. Rowe gets it into Earl, and we're underway. Earl throws on the right side to Siaglo beyond the arc. Now, top of the key, it's Rowe. Morrison has it. Curls all the way through. A little spin move in the lane, and the leaner is good. Yeah, I like that move. That was a sweet move by Johnny Morrison. Yeah, for a big guy, 6'6", to be able to move like that, that's really impressive. Now a steal by Rowe all the way through. High above the rim, he lays it up and in. And really, it was less of a steal. They just threw it right to him. Ooh. Now another turnover. Rowe squares up for three. Good. Oh, man. Two. That was huge. And Turner's calls timeout. Quick 7-0 run here to begin the second quarter. 7.24 to play here in the first half. And on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, it's now Hopkins 21, Turner's Falls 12. And by Rafters Sports Bar, Bobby, seven points <laughs> in a in 36 seconds. That's pretty impressive. Yeah, well, you know it's called good defense, and Turner's cannot turn over the ball against a good team like this. They just can't. Long inbound pass from Peterson to Brown. Got stripped on the way up. A great save by Rowe, but it comes back to Bergman. Three-point bomb by Vaughn is no good. Gets his own rebound. Banks it up and in, and a foul on Siaglo. Boy, that's a big shot right there. And I'm going to tell you, Jimmy Vaughn is really still stepped up in the game here tonight. Nice job, followed his shot. By doing that, he gets rewarded with two and now has a chance at a three-point play. Yeah, he's been playing some good ball here in the second half of the year. He was uh, a little quiet to begin the season, but he's definitely stepped up. And they've needed him as yeah. they try to right the ship here getting set for tournament. I agree. Free throw is up, good, three-point play. So a 7-0 run and then a quick three-point play there by Turners, but still a 21-15 lead, six-point lead for the Hawks. Rowe, jumper from the foul, uh, just beyond the foul line, no good, ends up getting the tip out rebound. Kelly has it deep on the right. Over on the left wing, they go to Earl. John coming through the paint and a blocking foul called on Turners. You know, honestly, that was more of a slight reach in by Lavin. Yeah. Honestly, Johnny Earl tripped himself, honestly, when he went in. And uh, he got lucky because he was able to get an extra one. Instead, that's uh, two personal fouls now on Tyler Lavin. He'll stay out there for now. And they get it out deep, and a three-pointer put up and good by Kelly from the left side. Oh, big shot right there by Nate Kelly. Turners by nine, 24 to 15. Tion Brown coming across. Dribbles up into the front court. Push pass over the right side to Lavin. Lavin back to Tion. Tion going quick to the basket, got blocked on the way up. Loose ball picked up by Mahalik, but it's stolen right back by Lavin. Deep on the right wing, now he'll get it out of the center court circle, set up the offense. Lavin calls it out. Plenty of time on the shot clock. Lavin throws on the right side to Vaughn. Gets a screen from Peterson. Oh, Peterson's wide open. They get it down low off his hands. He was wide open. Oh, that was a nice move, too, and exactly the look they were looking for. And yeah. that was a tough one. Tough turnover right there by Turners. Yeah, that's a tough one because Anthony's really good away from the ball. He knows how to get open. And uh, he would have had a clean look. Kelly for three, no. Travel before the shot, back to Turner's. You know he's got a little happy feet going on here tonight, Mr. Kelly. 6-11 to play here in the first half, 24-15 Hopkins. They get it into Tyler Lavin, and he's got Earl right on him. Tyler takes it across, calls out to play. They're gonna bring out, gonna bring somebody out to set a screen, I think. They're gonna, they're gonna down pick, no, they're not, not, not able to do it. Brown has it deep on the left. Shot clock running down, it's at 12. Brown double team, gets away to Vaughn. Jimmy coming all the way through, a little spin move. Puts it up off the back iron, no good. Rebound to Earl, throws it up ahead. To Earl, it's over his head though, comes down to Tion Brown. Tion running it up, gets a string. Oh, crazy action out here, it's picked back. And all the way through is Rowe, and he lays it up and in. Just a very polished player, wow. The lead is 11 now for Hopkins, Lavin. Back to Tion Brown. Tion, left side gets a screen from Peterson. He's double teamed. Down low it goes, and shot no good, but a foul down low. Looks like it's on Mahalik as he uh, bumped into Jimmy Vaughn. 
You know what's happening right now, Jeff, is Turner's is starting to play into the hands of Hopkins Academy, and we know that when that happens, it's doomsday. Yeah, it's over, yeah. You, yep. can't, you can't, absolutely can't do that. Nope. Caleb Gray is back in for Hopkins Academy. Johnny Morrison takes the end of the bench. Compass is in as well. And he's going to replace Rowe. So Rowe will get his first break. We're guessing it'll be very brief. First of the one and one is good by Jimmy Vaughn. He'll get one more here. 26-16, Hopkins Academy. Turner's led by 10 the first time around on February 1st. Must feel really good when you're a guy like Jimmy Vaughn and knowing that you're playing well against a team this good. You know, that's a good feeling. Second free throw is good as well. So Turner's to within nine. It's 26-17. Compass in big trouble in the backcourt. He's able to get it away. Coming all the way through, Earl tried to thread the needle. It got kicked by a Turner's player, and they'll reset the shot clock. Mahalik will throw in on the baseline. Gets it into Compass deep on the left. Passes left wing to Earl. They work it all the way around the horn on the right side. Now it's Kelly. Mahalik in the right corner. And they're going to get him with steps. Jimmy Vaughn was the man who provoked that. Yeah, Jimmy Vaughn really playing well here, defensively and offensively. Guy that really showed up for the game here tonight for Turner's Falls. Great job, Jimmy Vaughn. And as we figured, uh, Rowe just with a very brief break. He'll pick up Tion Brown now on defense. Mahalik checks out. Here's Tion trying to maneuver his way past Rowe. Can't do it. Got away to Lavin between the circles. Shot clock at 15. Lavin left of the lane. Gets it away to Bergman. Foul line left top of the key. Jimmy Vaughn. Vaughn left side. Jumper from 18 is good. Wow. Jimmy Vaughn. 26-19, Hopkins by seven. Their biggest lead was 11. Roll passes the compass between the circles, right side to Kelly. Kelly in the corner, it goes to Graves. Now it's John Earl, shot clock at 15. Earl into the paint, loose ball on the floor, a held ball, possession Earl favors, Turner's Falls. Wow, good defense by Turner's Falls. Nice job by Tion Brown being able to get his hand in there first. That's what loosened up the ball and then they ended up getting the tie up. 26-19, Hopkins by seven. They release the Tion, working on Rowe. Off balance shot, high off the glass, no good. Rowe gets the rebound, they're running the other way. Rowe to the line, to the lane, push pass right side. They dump it down low, Kelly to Compass. Back on the left wing, here comes Earl. Left corner to Compass. Can't pull the trigger on the three, slices into the paint. Right side, Kelly, he'll take a three, right wing. Back rim, no good. And it hit the uh, support up above the rim above the backboard, it'll go to Turner's. That support bar is probably from 1965. Yeah, there's a lot of old <laughs> things in this gym, <laughs> actually. That, yeah. Tyler Lavin goes all the way through, but he misses a runner in the paint. Nice move, too. Too bad. They can't convert it into points. Earl, three ball, left side, in and out, no good. Here comes Tyler Lavin, got it away to Peterson. Peterson, back to Lavin, left side, pulls back for three over Earl, good! Oh, huge shot right there by Tyler Lavin. Turner's two within four. Siaglo getting set to check back in for the Hawks. Turner's falls, they know how to play these guys tough, you gotta say that. Compass, top of the key, three, no good. Vaughn gets the rebound, Turner's can get a little closer here. They were trailing by 11 a moment ago. This could make it a one possession game, a kick now on Earl and a new shot clock for Turner's. We got Siaglo in and Compass will take a seat on the bench. You know, that was a really good look right there by Tyler Lavin, looking for that open man, taking the shot at the lane. Good job right there. They're doing a nice job right now, Turner's Falls, making very good time and very smart possessions right here on offense. Doing a great job. Lavin at the top of the key, working on Graves. His jumper from the free throw line is good. Tyler Lavin heating up now. Turner's to within two. Big, big shot by Tyler Lavin. 2.53 to play here in the first half, 26-24 Hopkins. They have definitely cooled off lately. They try to get it down low to Earl. I got screened by the official Bobby. Uh, uh, I ended up having a uh, kickball kick by, okay. by Tion Brown, so now they'll reset the clock. New shot clock for the Hawks. And Earl will inbound on the baseline. They get it top of the key to Kelly. Over to Sami Rell. Backs it out. Lavin is guarding him. They jump out on him now. He'll take the jumper from the right side. In and out, no good. Peterson the rebound. He got bumped into by Caleb Graves. 
And we're shooting one and one down here. Yeah, see, that's a big possession right there for Turner's Falls. Now, well, big Anthony Peterson is going to bend his knees and take his time. Big spot right here for the freshman. All right, Anthony Peterson off on the right side, one and one. Right-handed shooter, it's on the way, and it is good. Morrison, who's had uh, quite a bit of a break now, he'll check in for Caleb Graves. And one more free throw for Anthony Peterson. And a chance at a tie, short. Loose ball, picked up. And Bergman got fouled as he swooped through, reaching foul, and that's uh, gonna go either on Siaglo or Rowe. We'll it see. was Siaglo. Yeah, that's his third. Wow. And Caleb Graves, who just checked out, is gonna check right back in. Uh, you might not be seeing him for a while. You're not gonna see him for the rest of the half. I'm that's a that. guarantee. Free throw is good, we're tied at 26, and now Bergman with one more free throw and an opportunity for Turner's Falls to take the lead here. They were down by 11. Now they are up by one. Wolt Lane violation. Wave it off. They are not up by one. Oh, wow. And it looks like it was on Tion Brown. Oh, that hurt. They would have, could have had the lead. And by the way, Graves did not check in. Caleb is still sitting down. It was Mahalik who checked in to replace Siaglo, who's uh, definitely in foul trouble right now. All right, Earl. Kelly, the left side to Mahalik. Down the 220 to play. They tried to feed it down low, out of bounds, off Turner's. Hopkins will get it back. Good defense, Turner's Falls tonight. They really are doing a nice job. And boy, Semi Rowe, he hasn't had many touches in the last two and a half minutes. And he had one and he had a rare miss. Yep. And Rowe is frustrated oh, yeah. right now because they're, the, they're not running the offense the right way. Sonny has it on the right side. And with the foul line, he's going to take matters in his own hand, misses the leaner, gets his own rebound, goes up, count it, and one. Wow. He is just so good. When he is down low, who is going to stop him? And Giovanni Williams picked up his third foul. And he'll take a quick U-turn to the bench, and Tyler Lavin will check right back in. So we have two guys with three fouls each, one for each team. Siaglo for Hopkins, Williams for Turner's Falls. And Rowe at the free throw line trying to make it a three point play and he does. Hopkins 29, Turner's 26, two minutes to play here in the first half. Tyler Lavada Turner's has it at the center court circle. Right near that big gold H inside the blue circle. Hopkins logo on the left side. Here's Tion Brown running into a double team. Skip pass left side, they get it over to Peterson. He's gonna take a jumper from 18. Back rim no good. And here comes back Rowe. Right side pass to Morrison. Went for the bank, no good. Tip followed by Rowe is good. Good job. Semi Rowe, always there when you need him. Quick 5-0 run now by Hopkins. 31-26 Hawks. Peterson in the paint. Turn, shoots, banks it home. Over Morrison. <laughs> yeah, that was good. Good shot right there by Anthony. 31-28, Hopkins by three. Earl on the right. He'll pull it back, coming down to the one minute mark. Kelly, wide open, does not take the shot, right of the lane. Gets it over to Morrison, high arching shot from the right side is good on the baseline. Yeah, nice shot by Johnny. Hopkins lead is five, with one minute to play here in the half. Here comes Vaughn, has not a touch in a while. Jimmy taking it all the way through into a double team on the baseline, gets it back to Peterson. Top of the key, three ball, Lavin, and that is no good. Roll the rebound, Hopkins as usual looking to run. Zips it up ahead on the left side. Here comes Earl going left baseline. Puts it up off the window. No good. Tip followed by Rowe is good. Wow. Semi Rowe has just taken over this game. He shoots from outside. He gets garbage points down low as well. He's just a very prolific scorer. They get it down low to Bergman. Little scoop shot as he falls to the floor. No good. Comes to Mahalik. Hopkins by seven. Long pass down court. Great play there by Lavin to tip it away on the baseline. Coming back to Jan Brown. On the right wing, working on Rowe, goes by Sami Rowe, hard to do, can't hit the shot though. Rowe the rebound and a reach and foul called against Tion Brown. And that's going to be one and one. Yep, that is the seventh team foul on Turner, so we are into the one and one and Rowe will go to the line for that. 11.7 seconds left here in the half. You know, it was just 26-26 just about two and a half minutes ago 
and now it could be 37 to 28. Big run right here by Hopkins. Front end of the one and one is good. It kind of bounced around up there. Yeah, it is a 10-2 uh, run right now for the Hawks. Roll, we'll get one more. Dribbling with the right hand. He lets it fly. That one is good as well. 37-28. Hopkins now leading by nine. Tyler Lavin deep on the right side. Down low to Bergman who comes through no, but a foul down low. Either Mahalik or Morrison. Is it 2-5 or 2-3? Two, 2-3, three. Two, three. that's Mahalik. Aiden gets the ticket. Bergman's back at the foul line again here. 4.2 seconds left here in the half, so these are a couple of big points to get here for Turner's. Bergman gets the first free throw, he'll get one more. That was and nothing but nylon. Graves in for Hopkins, and coming into the lineup for Turner's Falls is Ricky Craver. Free throw is up, that one is good as well. 37-30 Hopkins, 4.2 seconds left. They get it into Earl. Earl, deep three, right side, is good at the buzzer, he buried it. Wow, nothing but net, what a shot by Johnny Earl. And Hopkins takes a 10 point lead into halftime. We'll step aside for the break. The Bear Country High School basketball halftime report is coming up next. Our score at halftime on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Hopkins 40. Turner's Falls 30. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Halftime Report. We're in Hadley tonight, Hopkins Academy, with Hopkins leading Turner's Falls at halftime, 40 to 30 on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Along with Bobby C., I'm Jeff Terrell, and our studio producer is Dave Reno. Hopkins led by two at the end of one, 14 to 12, but the Hawks score 26 points in eight minutes in that second quarter. They end up leading now 10 at halftime. Yeah, and you know it came down to that big, huge three by Johnny Earl. That was huge right there at the buzzer. Not only that, but what about the seven points that was scored in 36 seconds to start the second quarter? So if you think about it, they started the second quarter strong and they ended the second quarter strong. But in the middle, Turner's Falls fell behind by 11. They came back to tie it at 26. Turner's Falls, Bobby, they're not playing bad. They're just playing an awesome team. They are. They're playing really good. Honestly, I'm very impressed with the way Turner's is playing here today. And I'll tell you, a couple of guys I've been very impressed with is Jimmy Vaughn and Kyle Bergman. And even Anthony Peterson doing a nice job cutting to the basket, trying to look for easy shots. And you know the stat that's really surprising to me? Tion Brown scoreless in the first half. Yeah, he definitely had his struggles. And one of the guys that was guarding him through most of the first half was Sami Rowe, and what a performance he put on the first, uh, first Come on. half. Sami Rowe, you know, he did everything right. Anything, every time that he touched the ball, something good happened. Every time that he was down low, just being there, he'd grab a rebound, put it back up for two. He's already got 28 first half points. Can you believe that Turner's has 30, and they're playing pretty well? This guy right here has 28 of the 40 for Hopkins Academy. He surely is the real deal. Hopkins leading 40 to 30 over Turner's Falls here at halftime. We'll take a break here on our halftime report. More halftime from Hadley coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. Yeah. You know what's fun about a gym like this is that the acoustics are so good that yeah, I feel the atmosphere of almost like going to a college game. feel like game. you're at a college game. You know what game. I'm saying? Absolutely. You got I, the pep I love band that here. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a very, very uh, tight-fitting gym here. The crowd is right on top of the action. All right, we're all set now. Hopkins with the ball and a 10-point lead. The second half is underway. It's John Earl who hit a deep NBA distance three then the first half. Gives it away to Siaglo. They go to row for three. Good. Oh, man. He is just on fire tonight. 31 points for Rowe. 43-30. Hopkins. Tion Brown. Deep on the left side. Comes all the way through. His runner is good. Nice play there by Tion. Great first, hustle. First points of the night. Back quickly comes Morrison. He'll come all the way through. High arcing shot. And around the rim and out. Tion Brown throws the pass up to Lavin. Tyler on the right side. And he will get away from the containment. Peterson has it at the foul line. 
Hands it back, stolen away momentarily by Earl, but Peterson got it back. Shuffle pass back to Tion Brown. Tion will back it out. <laughs> Tell you, Rowe is everywhere. He's all over Tion. Tion comes all the way through, went for the bank, no good. Morrison the rebound. John runs it up on the right. All the way through, finds a lane, went for the dunk, and he missed it. Wide open, though, at the middle. Oh, yeah. The lane was completely free. Bergman from the right side. Banks at home. Nice play there. Nice pass, too. You know, I'll tell you right now, Tyler Lavin has done a great job. He's been able to make some nice assists here tonight. And they come away now here. John Roll between the circles. Got it back to Kelly, deep on the left side. It's Justin Siaglo. He's out there with three fouls. Here comes Rowe, has 31, has 31 still as he missed that one, little lane from the left side. So the point now, we just expected to go in, Bobby. I know it. Tion, a little scoop shot right side, no good. Another rebound by Morrison, but he got bottled up by Peterson. We got a held ball. The arrow will favor Hopkins. Good defense right there by Anthony Peterson. Kid strong. Hopkins leading by nine, 43 to 34. They led by 10 at halftime. Brown will inbound on the baseline. Gets it in, Bergman, right side jumper is no good. Battle for the rebound. Peterson was going for it, couldn't get it, and a traveling call on Siaglo after the rebound. He didn't think so, but they got him. Yeah, Justin Siaglo's really struggling here tonight. Yeah, a couple of guys a little bit off their mark. Tion's had a less than Tion performance so far anyway. But he's uh, been scoring a lot more this year than he has in previous years. Vaughn turning, shooting, missing. Tipped out of bounds, it's off of Rowe. So Turner's Falls will get the ball back with a new shot clock. Now he's trying to state his case, but it's not gonna work there, bud. <laughs> Definitely off you on that one. Brown inbounding on the baseline, gets it into Bergman, little scoop shot, no reach and foul called on Kelly. Good cut right there by Kyle Bergman. Kyle's done a great job tonight. He's had some really easy baskets, and boy, he's done a great job at the free throw line, too. He has not missed. And we'll see how he does right here. Puts a nice high arc on it. First of two is up. It is off the back rim. You jinxed it again, oh, Bobby. man. The Bobby C. Jinx. Oh. <laughs> he, has a nice, he has a nice form, doesn't he, though? He does. A nice high arc, nice form. I like his form. Yeah. Second free throw is perfect. Did yeah. not hit the iron. Yep. 43-35, Hopkins by eight. With 5.55 to play here in the third quarter here in Hadley. Nice pass, Kelly to Earl. He found him in the paint, he hits. Fantastic, nice cut by Earl. Nice look by Kelly. Here comes Vaughn, splits the D all the way through. Gives it up to Bergman off the glass. And in. Nice transition bucket there by the Indians. They're back through with an eight. Here comes Rowe with 31 on the night. Little hook pass back to Siaglo. Justin all the way through, a little curl. He can't get the runner though. Rebound Morrison, no good. Foul on Peterson. Ooh. You know, those two guys were battling so hard, I couldn't really tell what really <laughs> happened because those guys were battling, man. I like that. You know, nice it's, matchup. You know, it's <laughs> funny though, 90% of the time, whether it's high school basketball, college, or the NBA, the player who commits the foul, in his mind, he never committed the foul. Nobody That's ever right. commits a foul. Yeah. And John Morrison just threw up. Was that an air ball, Bobby? Yeah, but it's an it air ball, like but he missed it by like three feet. Yeah, like not even close. That one is no good. Ooh. So he missed them both. Tion had it, lost it. Bergman got it back to Tion. All right, Turner's fall still uh, continuing to trail by eight. They trailed by 11 in the second quarter. Got it back to a 26-all tie. Here comes Vaughn all the way through and an attempted steal down low, but instead reaching foul called against Kelly. Did they get Kelly or Siaglo? That was Kelly. All right, that's his third. 14, he's got three. Yep. Good old Jimmy Vaughn. Him and Kyle Bergman. Nice game tonight. All right, so Vaughn will shoot two. First one is good. Mahalik and Compass check in for... Hopkins Academy. Tonight's game brought to you by the Hadley Garden Center, KBR Design, and the Smith Kelleher Funeral Home. I'll tell you, besides those two shots by Morrison, both teams have done a good job at free throw shooting. Second free throw is good. 45-39, Hopkins now by six. They're up by 
10 points a little bit ago. So to, again, Turner's Falls, they fall behind. They claw their way back in. They, they don't go down without a fight. You know that. No, absolutely not. Compass deep on the right. Holding it there. Zips a pass over to Earl. Back to Mahalik. Top of the key to Compass. Compass, he's going to take a three from the left wing. That shot is no good. Morrison gets the board. Goes up strong. Yes. Nice job right there. Totally outbodied on that play, Anthony Peterson. Lavin squares up for three. That shot off the front of the rim, no good. Rebound taken down by Rowe. He will jog it across the timeline left. Pull up, three ball, short. Offensive rebound by Morrison. He's really come on here oh, in the second yeah. half. He hits again. Sure has, bud. Anthony Peterson, you gotta start boxing someone out. Timeout on the floor, 4.17 to play here in the third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard, Hopkins by 10, 49-39 over Turner's Falls. Well, Bobby, what you gotta like about Hopkins Academy, they come in waves, different players. Sometimes it's Earl, more times than not it's Rowe, and then now Morrison, and you yeah. know, so many times they just come in waves. Yeah, and even when he's hot, you got Justin Siaglo too, who can shoot yep. from outside. Yeah, you're right. All right, Turner's Falls now has fallen back behind by double digits. They're going to try to stick around here, make a game of it. Little give and go. Pass batted down. Nice play there by Compass to tip it away. Here comes Morrison up ahead to Rowe. Saved it on the baseline, but threw it right to Tion Brown. Tion with Earl and Mahalik back. Tion in the lane. Yes, counted in one. Blocking foul on Mahalik. Nice play right there by Tion Brown. Wasn't intimidated at all. Well, what I like about uh, Tian and a lot of these guys, you know, Tian will, would admit not his best performance here in the first half tonight, but uh, always knows that uh, if you have a good, strong second half performance, you've had a good game. I it's agree. not over till you're done. You got it. Free throw is no good, however. 49-41 Hopkins by eight. Deep on the left side is Mahalik on the wing. Gets it to Earl in the paint. Foul line right, open jumper, good. Pure shooter. Hopkins by 10. Here comes Bergman all the way through. High off the glass. No blocking foul called against Hopkins Academy. Now, was that on Mahalik again? No, it was on Irvin. Yep. Compass this time. That's picked up. Uh, no, they said 2-4. Yeah, but there is no. Is, who's 2 Oh, they said 2-4. But, but they posted that was on uh, Morrison, Morrison. Yeah. Which is his third. I thought it was not on Morrison. And I think Johnny's going to have to come off here. Yeah, he yep. will. Wow. And uh, Caleb Graves checks in. Hmm. All right, missed that one. Turner's Falls trailing by nine. Second free throw good by Bergman. 51-43, Hopkins by eight. Mahalik deep on the left. We're down to three and a half to play here in the third. On the right side, high arcing three by Earl is no good. Rebound, Rowe, no good. He's cooled off a bit. Peterson goes down hard, out of bounds. It's off of Caleb Graves. And it'll be Turner's Falls basketball. Jeez, that was definitely a foul. I thought on Graves, he got away with one on Anthony Peterson there. Turner's with a chance to make it a two possession game. Long pass, Peterson, nice play. It goes over, no shot, no good. Nice pass though to Bergman by uh, Vaughn. Here comes Hawkins back the other way. Nice crossover dribble in the paint. Floater by Rowe, no good. Gets his own rebound. Muscles his way up. No good, wave it off. Oh, they got an offensive. Offensive foul. And Angelo Thomas can't believe it. He is very angry. It's on Rowe. But what? Well, I'm trying to, re I'm try I'm trying to read Angelo's <laughs> lips. He is, look, look, at how, yeah. look at how red his face is. Yeah, it is red. <laughs> All right, coming across is Lavin. Turner's Falls trailing by eight. It's too bad the Indians are going to make that last uh, play in transition. Coming through Vaughn on the baseline. He got shoved out of bounds by Compass. That's a sixth foul this half. Wow. On Hopkins Academy. They're really racking them up. One more. And we're into the one and one already. But you've got to give credit where credit's due. Turner's Falls has done a good job attacking the basket, Jeff. They have done it all night. So you've got to give them credit for that. Two personals on Compass. Really, he has three, because I'm convinced that last fall before was not on Morrison, but was on Earth Compass. I agree. We get it down low to Peterson, tipped away. Another foul on Hopkins Academy as the Hawks are having trouble defending these Turner's kids right now. Now, is that on Kelly? Because if it is, that's his fourth. Nope. 
No, it is on Caleb Graves, his second. Wow, but they've been at the line a lot tonight. Look at Anthony it, Peterson. Look, look at Angelo. Oh yeah, he is red. Yeah. <laughs> Whew, wow. He is uh, he's glaring at one of the officials right now. Look at him. He is glaring yeah. at him. Peterson hits the front end of the one and one. One more. And he's trying to make it a two possession game here. Getting late here in the third. Good game here tonight, folks. Glad you're with us. Second free throw is good. And do we have a timeout on the floor? Oh, lane violation? Nope. No, the, it was, uh, no, yep. it was against uh, Hopkins, but the basket was good. Basket was so, good yeah, anyway. Yep. All right, 51-45 Hopkins, 2.40 to play here in the third. Here comes John Rowe, gives away to Caleb Graves. Left side, Kelly wide open for three. No foot on the line, shot no good anyway. Rowe, the putback is good. Someone's got to box him out. They just have to. 33 for Rowe, 33 of his team's 53. Hopkins by eight, 53-45. Compass tied up Lavin, held ball, Hopkins basketball. Uh, good D right there by Irvin Compass. Way to get your hand in there. That was a big possession right there that Turner's Falls needed. And now Hopkins can bring this back up to double digits or more. Every time Turner's gets close, Hopkins does what it needs to do. Coming through a row, high off the glass and in. So after a couple of misses, a couple of makes, he has 35. Yeah. Long pass, Bergman twists around, off balance shot, no good. Tian got the rebound. Can't do anything with it though, got it away to Peterson. Peterson comes through. High bank shot, a little out of control. Shot, no good. Here comes Rowe, the other way, all the way through, lays it up, no, but a foul. And he'll go to the line for two free throws now. Wow, he, he started to take over again. All right, so the question is, how high does that point total go? He kind of was stuck on 31 for a while. He's got 35 now. He surely has the potential to pick up 50 tonight. He really does. He's got the potential to do it. Yeah, it would depend on how close the game remains. Because if Hopkins pulls away, they'll see some more time on the bench. Won't be shooting as much. Free throw is up and good. Did you see that? You see how the finesse that he has and that release. I mean, it's absolutely beautiful. It really is something nice to see. Peterson to the bench. Moriarty checks in for the Indians. Rowe has 36. Still has 36 after the miss. Put back by Earl, wave it off. Before that, a foul called on Turners. They got Bergman, now they get the ball down low. Now they get a chance to shoot either for two or for three points there. Hopkins by 11. 36 points for Sami Rowe. Getting the compass in the right corner. Top of the key, it goes to Rowe. Lavin guarding him, backs it out. Takes it to the left side now. Sets up in front of the official. Now back to a little crossover dribble. Foul on Tyler Lavin. He, mm, wow. He didn't, he didn't, I don't think he touched him. No. I totally I, missed I, the play. I, I, I think he got, I think the, I think he got, I think he got uh, confused by uh, the jerky motion of Rose's body. Mm. He actually lost control of the dribble. Three-point bomb, top of the key, no good by Rowe. Deep rebound comes to Tion. Turner's Falls trailing by 11. Vaughn on the left side, traveling. Oh boy, that was a big possession that Turner's needed and just lost it. Siaglo win for Hopkins Academy and Compass will check out. We have 127 to play here, third quarter. Hopkins leading by 11. That matches their biggest lead of the night. Johnny Earl, left side, coming through is Kelly. Gives it up to Siaglo on the right side. Shuffle pass back, three-pointer by Earl is no good. Foul on the rebound. It's gonna go against Caleb Graves. Yeah, and that's his third. That is three on Caleb, you're right. We're shooting on the other end. Uh, not shooting two just yet. Four personal, uh, four team fouls rather on Turner's, only uh, in the eight of them against Hopkins. The possession art right now is favoring Turner's fouls. Well, we'll have to see how Ian Moriarty does here at the line here. One and one. It's on the way. And got the bounce. Looks like he missed, but <laughs> it fell through for Ian. He'll get one more. You know the old high off the iron? Well, yep. that was high off the iron and up in the air and right in. So. 
And now the official, uh, Whitehead, is talking to Giovanni Williams and Caleb Graves. And now what is happening out there? Now Dave Whitehead's really spe speaking a little more sternly to Williams. It looks like Williams and Graves got kind of got locked up on the front end of the one and one Not sure exactly what happened. Nathan Kelly's in front of us saying, what's going on over there? Second free throw is good. Turners to within nine. 56-47, we come down to the one minute mark here in the third. Here comes Earl, backdoor pass tipped out of bounds off of Moriarty. Hopkins will keep it, plenty of time on the shot clock. You know, Ian Moriarty could be a really good, powerful person to be able to box out a guy like uh, Sammy Rowe. You know, he's got that body, he could do it. Yeah, he's very strong in the upper body. You can see yes. his chest, back, and upper arms. And a foul on Kelly away from the ball Ooh, on the inbounds. Four. Pass. So that is four on Nathan Kelly. And Angelo Thomas is being made aware of that. He's going to get somebody off the bench here. He's going to get Mahalik out there. One minute to play third. Turner's Falls trailing by nine. Williams gets it to Tion Brown. Roll right on him. Tion. Pass is tipped. Tipped around, it's a volleyball game, it comes down to Rowe. Rowe going one on three, puts it up, yes, and a foul. Wow, unbelievable. His cross dribble, wow, incredible. And Wolfram was the one trying to play, and Jeremy is injured. He is lying flat on his back. He hit the back of his head on the ground. He totally came down right on his head. And he's helped to his yep. feet. Yeah, you're right, he's yeah. held the back of his head. Oh yeah. He, he came down hard, too. He will come off. He gets a nice hand as he comes to the Turner's Falls bench. The Hopkins crowd cheering for Jeremy as well. But Rowe now, uh, 38 points, I believe, what we have, Matt, now. Yeah. Chance to make it 39, and we're still in the third quarter. It is good. Yep. 39 points for Rowe. Timeout. Hopkins will take the break. 42.8 seconds left, third quarter. Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. It's Hopkins Academy 59, Turner's Falls 47. All right, 35 seconds left to play third quarter. And Turner's Falls now back on the attack. Chase Novak just checked in. Tion squares up for three, in and out no good. Nick Crotto seeing his first minutes. Trying to tip out a deep rebound. And a nice pass, row to Earl, and he banked it home. Ah, nice pass right there. Good trail by Johnny Earl to, to trail Sammy on that one. 14-point game now. Craver's back in there, and his pass gets picked off by Graves. As Hopkins Academy, a late surge here in the third. They're up by the biggest margin they've had all night. Three-point bomb is put up by Earl at the buzzer. He did it again. Wow, Johnny Earl having a nice night tonight from downtown. 64-47 Hopkins at the end of three. This is high school basketball on Bear Country 95.3. John Earl hit a three to end the first half, and he just hit a three to end the third quarter. It rolled around the rim all the way around and then fell through for him. And now Turner's Falls trailing by 17. Biggest deficit they have faced. Vaughn from 18, no good. Morse in the rebound. Here comes Semi Rowe again if you're just joining us. 39 points for the senior guard. Siaglo. Takes it center court, circle, shot clock at 15. Takes it to the right, Mahalik. Aiden has it. Mid side it's Morrison. Looking to get it down low to row. They can't do it, shot clock at five. Another three pointer by Earl, that one is no good. Morrison, the rebound, saved it. Here comes Earl. Doop, dipsy do, drive, no good. Rowe puts it up, no, put back, yes and one. Oh my gosh. He is relentless unreal. down there, Bobby. Isn't he? And he's so powerful. 41 points on the night for Sami Rowe. But he's earned all 41 points, man. He's worked really hard tonight. Hopkins with a chance to go up by 20 now. It's on the way, it is good. Great night. 42 points for the senior. Up ahead pass, batted down again. 
as that was Earl who came up with it, but it goes right back to Turner's. Williams, off the hands of Anthony Peterson, a little bit too much on that one. Boy, just lost possessions right now for Turner's, unfortunately, a lot of lost possessions. Yeah. Yep. And Gary Mullins is aging before our eyes. He it's, sure it's the, is. The turnovers, that's, that's what kills him. Yep. That he, you know, he'll deal with some things, but not that. Down low, beautiful post move by Rowe, and he hits again. <laughs> 44 points oh, for wow. Sami. Gee, I wonder who the hell on chemical player of the game is going to be tonight. Bobby C. <laughs> <laughs> Turner's falls nearly threw it away again. Tion Brown's not giving up, but his pass gets batted down. Up ahead to Rowe, and he will lay it up and in. Just, he doesn't, he doesn't try to showboat at all. I love that. Just play the game, baby. 46 for him. And now Turner's Falls, the wheels have come off as yeah. they, they keep losing control of the ball, unforced turnovers. As Vaughn just lost it, and now we'll get uh, Tyler Lavin back in, and Williams will check out. Yeah, really dominating right now is Hopkins Academy. They're really taking over this game. This must be a career high uh, for Rowe. 40, 46, I think I had him at. Coming through on the right side, shot is no good. And loose ball on the floor. And a foul called against the Golden Hawks. We're going the other way. Yep, they got Johnny Earl on that one. So now he uh, is going to the line. Tion Brown for two. <laughs> <laughs> and, you got, and I love Angela Thomas because, I mean, oh, they're, yeah. they're going to win the game. And they're going to win the game easily. But he is uh, still working the officials. He's riding his kids. Yeah. And that's what you do. But that's a good coach, though, bud. Yeah. You know? There's no such thing as a uh, perfect team, perfect game. No. Nope. You can always get better. You can Absolutely. always get better. Yep. First free throw by Tion is good, and he will get one more. Tell you what was tough for Tion is he is fast, but Roe is just as fast, and Roe also has about uh, seven inches on him. Yeah, and that's the. Can I tell you what the difference is? Is that height? It really is. Yeah. And his ability to jump through the roof, too. You know, a guy can jump through the gym. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Tion can. Tion's a great athlete, but he's yeah. five five. He's he's same height as the guy who was the one of the big heroes at the Grammys last night. That's Bruno right. Mars is five five. Yeah, him and Bruno. And you know what's funny? I like Bruno. He's, he's as good looking as Bruno too. That's eh? right. Yeah. yeah Tion Brown Tion's is a good looking boy. Yeah. <laughs> On the left side, it is Rowe. They swing that right side. Earl. They dump it down low to Morrison. Off the glass and in. They're, now they're a machine. Yeah. Yeah, they're, they're, they're in dominating. machine mode now. Yeah, they're a machine mode. You're right. 73-49, Hopkins cruising the victory at this point. Bergman to the paint, turn, shoots. Nice play by Kyle Bergman. Nice Got game, it. nice night. 73-51, Hopkins by 22. Loose ball picked up, nearly a steal by Vaughn. Siaglo for three, no good. Row skies for the rebound. Yeah, by three or four inches above the nearest guy going for the ball. Top of the key, Kelly, right side, Siaglo, Earl, 4-3. Yes, nothing but nylon for Johnny Earl. 76-51, Hopkins by 25. Well, the final the other night, the first meeting between these teams, 71-54, Turner's loses it again. Here comes Rowe, gives it up to Earl, the cutter, good. How nice was that, huh? Laid it right out for him, too. Tyler Lavin comes back. Ooh, Ooh hard foul as Rowe just barreled into Tyler Lavin. Both guys are okay, fortunately, as they're helped up, and Tyler will go to the line for, for free throws here. Johnny Earl just uh, filled up his stat sheet pretty good here, too, by the way. Earl will get a nice hand as he comes to the bench. Nope. He's going to, it's going to be, well, Compass was getting set to check in. But he'll have to wait. Earl knows he's coming off, so he'll just go over towards Angelo. First of two is up. It is short. And now Compass can enter the game. So we've got uh, Rowe at 46 with 437 left to play in the game. I said it would depend on how close the game remained. Now the game's gotten out of hand. So maybe not too much more Rowe. But it has mattered little. At this point, Siaglo, he's going to take a three. He's going to make a three. <laughs> you know, when things go your way, Jeff, it seems to just, just be easy for you, you know, when the team just starts lighting it up. And that's exactly what Hopkins is doing right now. They're lighting it up. 81-51. Now the goal would be 90. I think it's a pretty safe bet they'll hit that. 
Tion Brown feeds it down low. Nice dish and a nice conversion down low by Kyle Bergman. Hey, Kyle Bergman, hey, against this team, he's had a great night. He has. Look at this. Oh, nice pass left side. Siagla for three again. It's good. Oh, everybody's getting in the game now, baby. Never mind 90. Maybe uh, maybe triple digits. Maybe a century. Coming through. Tion Brown off the window. No good. Bergman battling for the rebound. Out of bounds. It's off of Kyle. Helped to his feet by Rowe. Wow, you know, you could have even uh, called a foul on uh, Sammy Rowe on that one over the top. Yeah, a little bit of a bump. Yeah, yeah I agree. But they, they, uh, they let it go. Sammy Rose out here for now. We'll see if he does get back in or not. I think you're going to see some uh, kids with the uh, jerseys on the far side get into the game here. Probably around the two-minute mark here. Kelly down low before the shot. Foul on Turner's down low. As Morrison was trying to get to the bucket, he'll go to the line. And he's on the ones here. Yeah, one and one. Post-game show coming up in a bit. And the free throw is up. It is good. Much better free throw than the last time that he was at the line. Much better. Yeah, he whiffed on that one. Uh, uh, that was nothing but nylon on that, that one. That was. That's what you want. Second free throw is up, and that one is good as well. Yeah, absolutely. Now, how, now, seriously, John Morrison, <laughs> how does that happen? You're such a good free throw shooter. Don't, your last three free throws were perfect, and yep. you whiffed. How, how does that happen? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> By three feet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wasn't even close. Lavin, deep three ball, left side, no good. Deep rebound comes to Tiam, but the pass gets batted down. Compass, oh. whoa, he tried to do a little pass down low to Siago, hit off the rim, almost went, <laughs> <laughs> almost went in. <laughs> How would we have talked that one up, hey? <laughs> the pass to the basket. It's, it's good. <laughs> All right, Turner Falls is clear on their bench. Yeah. They're going to they're gonna do a line change here in a minute. And nice pass down low. Bergman with the left hand, no good. Compass the rebound. Looks to run, big collision, center court. Comes away to Lavin, Tyler. Little hook pass over to Peterson. Coming in through a double team, reaching foul call down low on Hopkins Academy. 2.53 to play, and the Hawks leading by 33 points. I think that's the third or fourth on Mahalik. Yep, that is his fourth, yep. Fourth on Aiden. Yep. And Angel looks at his bench, who's going to come in? Brock. <laughs> Brock King is going to come into the game. Listen to the reaction from the Hopkins crowd. First free throw by Peterson is good. Here comes a line change for Turner's. Four new guys. It'll be a fifth after Peterson either makes this shot or there's the next stoppage of play. But you've got Craver in, and you've got Croto in. Williams is back in. Chase Novak, second free throw is no good, so Moriarty will have to wait. The next stoppage of play. Brock King has it. Pass is tipped. Comes down to Mahalik. Coming right side and a blocking foul called against Turner's Falls as Compass was. Is that on going Giovanni? Because right if it is, I think that's it. I think that's it for Giovanni. Let's see. That's five. He is fouled out of the game and that's Moriarty. It. Moriarty was going to come in for, for Anthony Peterson. For Anthony Peterson, <laughs> Not now. but. Williams will come out Moriarty in. Yeah, it was a tough so night for Giovanni. He had a tough night tonight. Anthony get to play a little bit longer. Yeah. And also checking in now for Hopkins Academy is uh, Mackin. Good. I like to see all these guys getting some time. Oh, I beg your pardon, that's not Sam Mackin. We just checked him. It's one of the JV guys. I saw him out there earlier. All right, 2.32 to play in the basketball game in the left corner. And Compass bats it out of Ian Moriarty's hands out of bounds. It'll stay with the Indians. 21 to shoot. Moriarty into Croto. Ian, left corner. Dump to Dello. Peterson, little jump hook, no good. Tried to follow his own shot, couldn't do it. Compass comes back. Gonna take it all the way through, off the glass, it in. Nice move by Irv. 89-54, so easily Hopkins will eclipse 90. And again, people need to put this in perspective. It's a 32-minute high school game, okay? 32 minutes. 
Brock King, all the way through, Brock King! Oh! oh! And the fans are loving it here at Hopkins. 91 to 54, Croto on the drive, yes. And there's the Nick Croto we've been waiting to see tonight. So Rowe to the bench, he is done for the night, 46 points. And that's a special number in my basketball watching career. Coming through, and Caleb Graves hits down low. Yeah, that's his first two of the night. The last game that Adam Harrington ever played for Pioneer Valley Regional, 1998 state championship game against Weston. Pioneer lost that game, but Adam had 46 that night at the DCU Center in Worcester. Mm. 46 in the state final. Right side, Croto for three, short. Minute left. Here comes Compass. Stripped by Craver, out of bounds. It'll stay with the Hawks. As they will cruise to victory number 15. Their only blemish, a loss at the Hoop Call Classic against Palmer, a team that they had beaten earlier in the year. Yep. Shot is up and no good. Chase Novak coming back now for the Indians. Poked away from behind. Nice play there by Brock King. And Compass has it. Mahalik, deep on the left. It's a pass to Brock King. They're on the shoot again. King kicks it left side. Compass, he'll take the deep jumper. It is short. Mahalik got the rebound. And a three-pointer top of the key is short. 25 seconds to play in the basketball game. Hopkins about to seal the deal here. Croto, he'll take a three on the left side. That is short. They Deep rebound comes to Mahalik. They can dribble it out, and which they will do. Yeah. Good. I'm glad they do that. Hopkins crowd comes to their feet as they have seen their Golden Hawks decisively defeat Turner's Falls by a final score of 93 to 56. Stay tuned. The Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report coming up next on Bear Country 95.3. And welcome to the Bear Country High School Basketball Post Game Report. Jeff Terrell and Bobby C. here in Hadley. Hopkins Academy over Turner's Falls. Final score of 93-56. to 56. Bobby, you look at the by-quarter scores. Hopkins only 14 in that first quarter. They were only leading Turner's Falls by two at the end of one, but they score 26 points in the second quarter, 24 in the third, 29 in the fourth quarter. Eight minutes, eight minute high school game. Quarter, 29 points. 29 points, Bobby, and that's unbelievable. They, and they played good enough defense to be able to hold the other team to nine. To nine. They, they outscored by 20 in one quarter, eight minutes. Yeah. Pretty impressive. They're, they're a pretty good basketball team. And it all, fun. And it all starts, uh, all starts with the senior guard, uh, Samir Ra. I mean, they have so many weapons. They come in waves. They're, they're a, nightmare, a nightmare to play, Bobby, but he was unbelievable tonight. You know what I love about a guy like him is that he really plays every position. He, he literally is everywhere on the court. You know, if the ball goes up, he attacks the basket to try to get a rebound. If he's the guy who's out shooting, he'll go and he'll follow his shot to try to be able to get that ball back. That is a true basketball player who's got all the fundamentals. Very, I mean, I tell you, I saw seven or eight scouts here tonight. I was taking a peek at them as we were doing our um, in-between broadcasts. You know, we were getting started at the beginning of the game, and then, of course, we had halftime. We had commercials going, and I was watching these guys, and these guys were just shaking their heads saying, this guy's unbelievable. But what's nice, too, the court awareness, he knows where his teammates are. There, you know, there were times he took what Turner's Falls was, was giving him, and he was scoring his points, but there were several times he would be driving the lane, he'd find his teammate. Yeah, I mean, look at Johnny Earl made this awesome cut to the basket, and what does he do? He just lays it there for him. He could have made that two points and brought it up to 48 himself. He could yeah. have done it, yeah. but instead he said, hey, here you go, bud. 
It's right here for you. And how and how about John Earl tonight? I mean, two <laughs> two buzzer beating threes. End of the second, uh, end of the uh, half, and end of the third. He, he was phenomenal tonight. He was second half. He was on fire. He ended up with only five first half points, but ended up with 19 for the night. So that's very impressive. Of course. Sammy Rowe ends up with 46. I mean, hey, what more can you say about his night tonight? But you know what? Johnny Morrison, he really stepped up his game, honestly, in the second half as well. It's pretty funny when I was looking at, really, the first half. It was Sammy Rowe versus Turner's Falls in the first half. Then everybody else started to become part of the team in the second half, and that's why Hopkins ran away with it, 93 to 56. And what about that great kid from Turner's Falls named Kyle Bergman? Mm, yeah. You know, that kid... He's had one of those years where he's had a lot of games where they've been up and down. But one thing I can say about him tonight is he played a quality basketball team and put up great numbers and did a nice job down low. I thought he did a great job. And also credit goes out to another guy too, Jimmy Vaughn. We talked about him in the first half. He was very dominant for Turner's. Turner's Falls has relied on Tion Brown so much this season. He's answered the call all season long, but he drew a really, really tough assignment. He was bringing the ball across against Rowe, who is very fast, and again, the height disadvantage. Tian was having a tough time tonight. Not his fault. I mean, he, he is a warrior. He, 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 he gives you everything you got. Heads up, Bobby. Here it comes. Okay. <laughs> And, you know, another person another person who really does a decent job handle on the rock, too, for Turner's Falls is Tyler Lavin. Mm -hmm. yep. And both those guys had fits tonight. They had a hard time. They were having a tough they time. They really Hop were. Hop Hopkins is good. Yeah. They're, they're that good. That's the best way to put it. Well, you know, not only are they a good team, but you know what? They also have a really good coaching staff, too. And you even talked about this during the broadcast, which I thought was really great, Jeff, is that even when you're up by 25, that doesn't mean that you still can't stop coaching your kids. And Angelo Thomas just kept the pedal to the metal and said, listen, we got to keep learning. We, we got to keep making plays because we can't go into the tournament not being prepared. And this guy is proving why he was one of the best coaches in Western Mass last year and is one of the best coaches in Western Mass this year. Well, I, I, I know what he's deathly afraid of. He is deathly afraid of getting into the tournament and seeing his team go down on a night that they should not go down. He is, he is scared to death of that. And I think every team should be scared of that night because yeah. you know what? When you've got a target on your back every single night you got to come ready to play because look what happened when they went up to Turner's and they were down 10 against Turner's up just about two weeks ago so things can change and tonight one thing I got to see is I got to see Hopkins Academy be able to not just rely on one guy they all started pitching in in the second half and they are a very solid basketball team Hopkins wins it by 37 Bob you'll have you run the numbers real quick and then okay. we'll reveal the Helena chemical player of the game all right four Turner's Falls uh, leading the way we talked about it earlier Kyle Bergman he ends up with 20 Jimmy Vaughn ends up with 11 tonight Anthony Peterson had 10 the guard play of Lavin and Tion Brown, five for Lavin, Brown with six. Nick Croto comes off the bench with two. Ian Moriarty comes off the bench with two for 56 points. For Hopkins Academy, leading the way, Sammy Rowe ends up with 46 on the night. Unbelievable evening for him. Johnny Earl has a great night, too. He scores 19. Also, Johnny Morrison ends up with 12. Justin Siaglo hits two big threes in the fourth quarter. He ends up with six on the night. Nate Kelly had a three in the second quarter, so he picked up three on the night. Brock King comes off the bench. He gets two. Caleb Graves gets two. And Irv Compass ends up with three. So on the evening, 93-56, a solid performance by Hopkins Academy in their gym. And by the way, a solid performance from their band, too. <laughs> yeah, those kids, those they kids were, were awesome. They were rocking tonight. Yeah. <laughs> they were really, really good. A lot of talent in this uh, building. I agree. Here tonight. Uh, Helena Chemical part of the game. Uh, gee, I wonder. <laughs> uh, Jeff Terrell. <laughs> yeah, Sammy Rowe Sammy definitely Rowe, yeah. deserves it, yeah. bud. He, he's just a complete player, and he's a lot of fun to watch. And everybody who has a chance to see this kid, you should be very fortunate. And you know what's surprising to me is this gym was very empty tonight, I thought. It was, it was okay, but it was pretty empty, you know? You go to games like Turner's Falls when it was at Turner's against Hopkins, that was a big gym. Yeah. Tonight, a little thin. Mm -hmm. and a little I bit. Know, I, but you know what? That doesn't matter because when they're going to be playing at the cage, I guarantee you that it won't be thin there. Hadley will show up for sure <laughs> that night uh, or that day. Uh, again, with the victory, Hopkins now goes to 15-1 and overall, a perfect 12-0 and in the Hampshire League. And Turner's Falls, their struggles continue. They're now 10-7. and 
Uh, they're now six and seven though, under 500 in the Hampshire League. And after a seven and zero start to the year, they are now three and seven since that time over the last 10 games. So hopefully they will right the ship again. They've had a very tough schedule of late. Hopefully they can right the ship before the tournament comes along. Final score for the final time tonight here in Hadley on the Greenfield Savings Bank scoreboard. Hopkins Academy 93. Turner's Falls 56 for Bobby C. and our studio producer Dave Reno. I'm Jeff Terrell. Thank you so much for joining us tonight and have a great night in bear country everyone.